This is Lesson 60, VHDL Example 36, where we'll implement a 4-bit ALU. You remember this ALU from the last lesson, where we have an ALU select 3 bits, which picks out one of several arithmetic or logic operations to implement. Here is the VHDL program to do this. ALU select will be 3 bits, 2 down to 0. A and B are 4 bits, 3 down to 0. And then the outputs will be the negative flag, the 0 flag, the carry flag, the overflow flag, and Y output 3 down to 0. Here's the architecture for the ALU. We'll have a process with A, B, and ALU select in the sensitivity list. We'll define variables, a 5-bit temp used for addition and subtraction, and a Y variable, carry flag variable, and zero flag variable. We'll initialize the carry flag and overflow flag to zero, temp to zero, zero flag variable to zero. And then we'll have the case statement ALU select. So when the ALU select is zero, we just want to pass A through, so Y variable just gets A. When ALU select is 1, we want to add A plus B, and we'll do it the way we did it with the addition example, where we add a 0 at the beginning of A and B to make them 5 bits, and then just add them with a plus sign. So temp is A plus B, and then the most significant bit of temp will be the carry flag, so the variable, and the Y will be the lower four bits, temp three down to zero. You remember how we calculated the overflow flag uh, in the addition example. We take Y variable three, exclusive or with A three, exclusive or with B three, exclusive or with the carry flag. You can go back and look at how we did that. It's exactly the same. And the carry flag is the carry flag variable. So this is the case of ALU select equal to one. When ALU select is 2, we want to do A minus B, and when it's 3, we want to do B minus A. Well, all we do is take temp A minus B with the leading 0, and when it's 3, B minus A. And the rest of this is the same as for the addition. The uh, output is the 4-bit temp 3 down to 0, the carry flag and the overflow flag are calculated in the same way. When ALU select is 4, we want to invert it, that is do a not A, so we just say Y variable is not A. When it's 5, we want to do A and B, well that's just Y variable, it just gets A and B. When it's 6, we want to do an OR, Y variable is just A or B. When ALU select is 7, then Y variable is just A exclusive or with B. And when others, in our case statement, we'll just set it equal to A. So that's the end of the case statement. Now to get the zero flag, remember we want the zero flag to be set to 1 when all the bits are zero. Well, we had initially set this Z flag variable to zero, you remember. So if we OR it, if we put a for loop, go through all four bits for i in zero to three loop, and we OR it with y variable sub i, then if any bit is set, then this will be one, but if they're all zero, then this will be zero. So this will be zero if all the bits are zero but we want the zero flag to be one when all the bits are zero, so we'll just set the zero flag to not zero flag variable. Y just gets the Y variable, the negative flag just gets the Y uh, variable sub three, that is the most significant bit, or the sign bit. So if the sign bit is set, the negative flag gets set. So that implements the ALU, Here's a simulation of the ALU. We've taken ALU select and used a binary counter, so it goes 0 to 7, so we can test all of the operations. 
A is on a counter, so this is an F, this is a 2, and B is 7 the whole time. So you can check this to make sure it works. Let's look at the case where A is 2. If it's 0, it just passes it through. If it's 1, we add 2 plus 7 to get 9. But 9 is a 4-bit number, is of course a negative number, so the negative flag is set. The overflow flag is also set because as a, as a sign number, this is negative. You added two positive numbers and got a negative number, so it can't be right. If you subtract, set ALU select to 2, that's A minus B, so that's going to be 2 minus 7, which is minus 5, which is B. It's a negative number. It's the correct negative number, so the overflow flag is 0, but the carry flag is 1, indicating that B is larger than A as an unsigned number. And when ALU select is 3, that's going to do B minus A, or 7 minus 2, which is 5, and that's correct both as signed or unsigned numbers. So you can check all of these and, and, and find out that the uh, ALU uh, operations are, are in fact correct.